Hello everyone. This week I will be covering copper. And one of copper's main purpose is for helping with several enzyme functions. And one of them being is involved with what is called lig ligandin synthesis. And what this is, is it keeps cell walls rigid. And copper is also required in the process of photosynthesis and is essential for plant respiration. And finally, copper assists in plant metabolism of carbohydrates and proteins. So now with copper deficiency, it once again starts in the newer growth and it can lead to poor growth and delay the flowering in your plants. And how these deficiencies can come about is with excess potassium and potassium phosphorus or other micronutrients. High pH will make copper less available as well as having too much organic matter. And what can happen when your plant gets too much copper is first of all, the soil, well first of all, soil rarely produces excess amounts of copper, but you can get copper to toxicity from repeated use of fungicides that contain copper. And what can happen then is there will be reduced seed germination, plant vigor, and iron intake will be reduced. And neutralizing copper toxicity in your soil is extremely difficult once the problem occurs. And copper has low solubility, which, which enables it to persist in, in the soils for years. So, there you have it, guys. The highlights of copper. Now, next week, I will be covering the final nutrient, which will be boron. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.